Vince. Now, while you and I are here in Rhode Island complaining about the traffic, thousands of American citizens, our sons, daughters, sisters, brothers, mothers, and fathers, are overseas putting their life on the line for our safety. The Wounded Warrior Project aims to help those who are injured while in service. Stacy Smith was serving in the Marine Corps in Iraq when a terrible mishap changed her life forever. In February of 2006, I was deployed to Iraq to Camp Altakadam. Uh, it was a great experience. It really was. I enjoyed being out there um, at some points working with the Iraqi civilians, which was really a lot of fun, um, really humbling in itself to kind of be able to see these people really appreciate what you're doing, especially when there's so many people who don't. Uh, unfortunately, in my last two weeks, I was assigned to a convoy that um, there was a mishap and my truck that was loaded with ammunition rolled over and I was thrown from the turret. So um, I sustained numerous injuries to my face, which you can't really tell because I had the wonderful work of an oral surgeon who um, placed a lot of plates in my jaw to reconstruct it almost. Stacy also sustained injuries to her neck and back along with a traumatic brain injury. Since the accident, she's been on the long road to recovery. Stacy is one of countless soldiers who were injured while serving our country. The Wounded Warrior Project was created in order to help Stacy and others like her. The Wounded Warrior Project is a nonprofit organization that its mission is to honor and empower wounded veterans, and we also solicit the public's support in, in their aid. And uh, we're blessed to have many supporters in corporate America has stepped up in a big way. Recently, representatives from New England Napa Auto Parts stores met with Stacy and the Wounded Warrior Project to deliver a check for $12,500, money raised to go towards the foundation. Joe Wheelock is with Napa and is a veteran of the Vietnam War. When we come home from Vietnam, nobody, but nobody cared about us. And I think we really need to care about the folks, put the young, uh, young folks that put their lives on the line never know what's going to happen. So if they, something does happen, they need to have the additional support. As far as Stacy's recovery, she's thankful. I'm slowly trying to work through that in my own way with the help of family, friends, and of course the Wounded Warrior Project, just that great support system that I have. Um, so we'll get there. We really will. We'll get there and I'll be back to new in no, no time. Stacy's now living in North Providence and is going to school at CCRI to become an oral surgeon following in the footsteps of the doctor who helped to recapture that beautiful face you see with her today. Now it's time to take a look at weather. Meteorologist Michelle Muscatello in the Weather Center ready to give us a, a rainy forecast. Am I hearing that right? Well, for later in the week. Today's oh, okay.